like to be introducing legislation. At this time, I can't talk about the timing uh, for well, reasons of parliament. you can talk about the government's intention. I'm not asking you the details of the bill. <laughs> Sorry, I just came up the stairs. Um, Take a breath. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so look, the, the important thing here is getting it right and the time that it takes to do so. Uh, when when uh, the, you look at the committee, and I really thank the parliamentary committee for their work, uh, they heard from an extensive list of witnesses. We followed that process closely. Uh, for myself, in talking with the provinces and the territories, um, the time that's required, uh, uh, we got to get that right. Yes, I heard uh, you say all of that yesterday, sir. So what I'm asking is, how much time do you need? And if you're putting it off until after the next election, A, it's a political football, but B, aren't you opening well, look, the government I to understand. challenge? I understand. Challenge. Look, I understand why you want today for me to say how long we're doing it. I've, I just I'd like explain. you to be transparent with Canadians well, about no, your but, intentions. Of course, but what I'm saying is that due to parliamentary privilege, until the legislation is tabled, I can't talk about You don't about have to talk about the legislation. No, 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 but I can't talk about how long. What's your policy what intention? Are, so, okay. What's your policy so, intention? The policy intention, as I've said, is to make sure that we take the time necessary to get this right. And I wish in, in, in a few days' time, once the legislation is tabled, we can have a very specific and detailed conversation around what time is necessary based on those conversations. But I cannot, you know, you, if you really listen to the question that you're asking me, you're saying, well, why don't you put it in front of the election so it's not a political football? That is the essence of making it political. And that's exactly what I don't want to do. We can't base a system readiness on whether the timing of an election. We have to base the system readiness on how many people have been trained, about how ready the provinces are telling us they are, whether or not the curriculum that has been adopted has been well metabolized by the system. Those are the questions as a health minister I have to ask. Because at the end of the day... It's been three years. Yes. I mean, how much more time? I mean, to what extent can we assume that those who are asking more time are just people who don't agree with it? Well, look, I've talked with uh, health ministers from new democratic governments, health ministers from uh, a liberal government, a health minister uh, from, uh, from Quebec, uh, you know, all of whom say their system isn't ready. So it's not just conservative uh, health ministers that are saying this. Uh, this is uh, these are every single health minister from every single province, every single territory, telling me they're not ready. So ready I mean, yes, it's three they years. Have a so there. So in my conversations, there has there, nobody has told me they're ready. So let me just be clear. Talked to ten of them. I have talked. I have talked to. I, I've talked to all thirteen. Uh, and I can tell you that all 13 have expressed to me that their system isn't ready. And they have but I have asked said you for an indefinite pause. So is that what that is not true? Do? That is not true. There, yes, are, there, no, are, no, some, there are some. There are some. There are some who are. There are some that are. Yesterday, asking for an indefinite pause. There are some. There are some that are asking for an indefinite pause. And, and what I've said, and again, due to parliamentary privilege, in a, in a couple of days' time, when we introduce the legislation, we can talk exact timing. What I'm saying right now, okay, is I can't talk about that exact timing until the legislation is tabled for reasons of but parliamentary you can privilege. Whether you're considering an, uh, le uh, an indefinite pause, that's very different than two years, three years, more years. An indefinite pause. I'm saying is that no I'm not. I'm saying that until the legislation is tabled, I can't talk about timing. What I can talk about. Well, you can talk. You, I can talk. Can what, then, what then, in your view, is enough people trained. The report yesterday that you said you agreed with said only 2% of Canadian psychiatrists have been trained. What yeah. level of, of training do you want to see nationally? If you were to give yeah. leadership, what's the level? I, I mean, I think, the, look, at the end of the day, this is, a this is delivered by the provinces. And so I rely on the provinces and territories to be able to tell us in their systems what their, what, what their requirements are for state of readiness. Now, some of them are uh, ideological on this issue, absolutely. Some of them are uh, you know, uh, their position is that they don't ever want this to occur, um, and and I understand that. But that is not, uh, in my view, um, a tenable position. Uh, I think that the uh, that there's very clear that mental suffering and physical suffering have equivalency. The question here is a state of readiness, and so what I what I think we're going to be looking for on that basis is the preponderance of reasonable opinion um, that the system is ready. Uh, and at this point in time, that isn't the case. Uh, and 
you know, when you when I don't have any uh, any province or territory coming forward and saying their system is ready, that certainly is an indication that it's not there, and that we need to be able to take the time to uh, to be able to make sure that this gets right. Seven provinces and all territories have asked specifically for an indefinite pause. So just can you be clear to Canadians, is that an option you're considering? An so, indefinite pause, no date on when the implementation. Comes so I don't, I, I don't, I've tried to answer this question, okay, and I'm trying to say that. The challenge that I have when we introduce legislation, there's parliamentary privilege. I am not going to, okay, and I'm hopefully I'm clear on this, violate parliamentary privilege. In a couple of days' time, when the legislation has been tabled, then I will come out and I will very specifically answer those questions when parliamentary privilege allows me. At this moment in time, I can only speak to general context.